So, we just got done in the Alhambra Palace. Uh, very cool. Target spotted. What do you think of Alhambra? It was very nice, very interesting. Lot, lots of history. So, I'm going to go back and study it some more and learn more about what happened there and how it was built. It was very impressive. Great work of engineering. Time to eat. You gotta stay full when you're out here like this, all right guys? Make sure you eat. Make sure you drink and plenty of water all day, all day long. I don't stop eating, you heard me? So we were just eating uh, dinner, lunch, whatever you wanna call it, our only meal of the day. And uh, this guy, this English guy, told us about a walking tour that's gonna take us up the mountain. It's free, but all these tours that are free, you have to give a donation at the end. But we're gonna do that now. So we're about to head up the mountain. It's gonna be cool, free tour of the city. So let me jump on here and give you my own personal tour since I don't want to just hijack everything that this guy tells you. But let me start by saying that this free tour is really good and I highly recommend it. Basically, they are going to walk you all the way up the mountain and you're going to see some amazing things along the way. And where you start out is following along the Carrera del Daro, which traces along the river. It's a very narrow street as well, so you have to watch out for passing cars. But it's a nice walk, and they're going to take you up into a neighborhood called the Albaicín, which is actually an UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1994. And you can see another element that is not so common. Uh, in the case of Granada, actually, you're not going to see any anything like this in the whole of the city except for uh, well, uh, this trail where you can see that passage connected. The neighborhood is stunning and you'll recognize it by the narrow streets <laughs> and the white stone walls everywhere. Now this used to be an old Moorish neighborhood or the people from North Africa and there's a ton of history here from people populating this area to moving out. Romanis, Gypsies, Catholics, Islamic people. Do you much about, uh, about gypsies? The gypsies here in Granada, in Spain. The history is very confusing, but the tour guides do a decent job of breaking it down and giving you some interesting facts. It's quite the hike. They were talking about the Spanish Inquisition. They're losers. Let me tell you something. I would have the best Inquisition ever. And of course, they're going to take you to the most famous lookout in the city, which is the Mirador de San Nicolas, or St. Nicholas's Lookout. From here you will see Alhambra, and if you want to know more about that, I just did a video on that. Here that's first the council, the church, and then also the army were pushing the people outside of the city. And definitely go inside and see the Alhambra, but the views from outside are just breathtaking and you can definitely grab some amazing pictures. Also during the day you'll probably run into tons of performers here doing flamenco and playing the Spanish guitar so definitely worth just coming up here on your own and seeing what's going on. But after that they'll walk you to the Sacromante neighborhood and you can kind of see how the structures change. Hey we're up here now. Oh look at that up there. I'm good. Okay. Just wanted to scare everybody. That's all. And that dog got a deep voice. Hey, boy. But you'll recognize this area for one thing in particular, and that is the old houses here are actually built into the mountains. So they're caves. It's a cave. The human-made cave. All right. So usually, like people are trying to just building a gallery going deep into the ground, making sure every four or five meters they narrow the, the cave a little bit, like they build like natural pillars on the cave, so... Just in case, if you want to have some fun, can you see like a, what, the terrace over there? Yeah. That's a disco. <laughs> it was, uh, actually, that disco was very popular some years ago. It was uh, very funny because it was... Uh, the upper floor on that terrace was actually like meant for, for tourists and international students. It was like... Uh, very diverse actually and all the underground was a pure like a gypsy. Another thing you probably recognize is all the flamenco here. 
This is a flamenco area. So if you're going out at night and you want to see some real flamenco, this is the area you want to come to. In case of uh, this kind of peñas we find here, we're speaking about a flamenco club. Now our tour guide explained how people from Western North Africa were immigrating here and they had like family rights to some of these caves and it was like a big mess. I don't know. I didn't really understand that whole situation. So if somebody knows more about that, definitely comment below. But he did also mention that a lot of people who live in the cave houses around here enjoy letting tourists see inside their homes. So if you're up here and people invite you in, I heard that's a normal thing. But coming up here is just absolutely beautiful. The views of Alhambra, the higher up you go, just get more and more beautiful. And the mountainside is just like something you will not see anywhere else. You have to understand also a very conservative regime, Franco's regime, and they didn't like this way of living. But don't point this off. Look at it. <laughs> this is like the best view ever. <laughs> I can't tell if it's altitude or just a long hike. Can't keep my breath. Boy, I'm out of shape, boy. And you can also see the Sierra Nevada mountains from here. These mountains behind me, uh, these are actually the original Sierra Nevada mountains, which is really cool. Right next to this olive tree that's sitting right behind me. So basically, when that snow melts, it comes and it, it's a waterway down this valley right here, and it brings water into the city. And it was built 800 years ago, and it still exists today. That was a cool thing to point out. But once you summit the mountain, the way that they end the tour, I think, is just unbeatable. They walk you to a lookout, and you can watch one of the most amazing sunsets you will probably ever see in your entire life. 10 out of 10 tour, I highly recommend it. And honestly, if you go to any new city and don't know anything about it, look for a free walking tour. It's the best way to get to know the city, and learn things that you would never learn just walking around on your own. I'll put a link in the description for this company. They meet outside Granada City Hall, so make an effort to take this tour. Hope you guys enjoy this. Definitely don't miss your chance to catch the sunset. It's unreal. Unreal. So guys, I think I'm gonna end this video here. This is Granada in a day, so I really hope you enjoyed it. You better smash that like button. Come see the sunset, because it is out of this world. Alright? Like, share, subscribe, do all that shit. See you next time.